All right, all right. Welcome back, everyone. As always, I want to give a shout out to my mom and dad. Hi, mom. Hi, dad. I love you guys. Um, we just came off from watching uh, the final shape that they revealed. Bungie had a stream on Twitter or on Twitch, and they showed what is coming for the final shape that is dropping, uh, I believe, in May or June. I think it's June. Um, and it looked really cool. <laughs> as One thing about Bungie is they know how to really tell a story when it comes to their promotional work. Um, I did not want to pre-order the DLC because the 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 light fall. We saw what happened with that. It looked really cool. Then we got it, and the game was really bad. The DLC was not up to par as what we had with the Witch Queen, and it was really disappointing. And it's actually left a really bad taste in my mouth that I was like, I'm not gonna order the final the final shape. And they, I was really <laughs> suckered in today. It looked really cool. They showed a lot of really um uh i'm gonna say kind of gimmicks but not really gimmicks like new powers for your character as a guardian um so pretty much if you don't know what the story's going on uh the 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 witness came took the traveler or did something with the traveler the witness is inside and now we're trying to figure out how to do this and the story that just ended for the season was uh we chose the crow to go in and he's going to use the connection with uh his sister morsa and that's how we're going to find him so in the trailer we go in there. It looks like we're in there, and the, our, our our guardian looks like it gets he gets dropped or she gets dropped, and it has a really kind of um, uh, uh it, it takes me back to when the Red Fall came out, when Destiny Two, the vanilla uh, version came out. Like you fall, you lose your powers, and next thing you know, now you're using. I believe it's called Transcendent, and it looks really cool. It's pretty much in layman's turn. You're able to use about two two abilities or three abilities, from what I remember. Um, and you can use like for Titans, uh, strand and solar or strand and lightning, uh, arc, right. That looked really cool. And I was like, damn, like, that's really, <laughs> that looks really badass. It looks cool. Uh, it looks like you're, you, each character is going to have a new, um, uh, class item. And with that class item, uh, it looks like when you do use your ability, uh, it gives you like this cool effect that shows that that character is using two abilities, right? Pretty much. Um, and I was like, man, like that looks really awesome. And I had that moment of like flashback of horror when um, they show this that first strand and Lightfall that I think to me, at least from my perspective, which is probably most of us, the reason it wasn't that good was because the story literally felt like 99% of the story was just driven about how you're going to get strand and how strand is really important. But it's like we we never got to, I feel, get to the point of, fighting the witness or like why we were there and like what i don't know it just it, it, i felt like when we got into witch queen the story was such in it, it, like the design the story and the way it was delivered it, like we were such on a, a, a high and then we get to lightfall and then it's just like we're trying to use this ability and like that's just the whole story and it's really frustrating to think about it even now and honestly that's the reason that turned me away from wanting to play destiny for almost like what two years or i'm sorry for like a year or so um at this point it was like i was really trying to hold off not to uh like i was like i'm not gonna order the i'm not gonna do the pre-order because i've literally done that i didn't even get the the uh the special edition or the collector's edition i pretty much have received one each like each dlc because i really love the product i really love what they were doing um and light lightfall just they just kind of dropped the ball and the next few seasons was just so repetitive but um now with this marketing team did so excellent uh the, the powers look incredible um it looks like when you're doing like each subclass uh the 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 item you get to wear it looks like they're finally giving us the ability to use more than one exotic uh, exotic ability and it's pretty much like you can this role that you get for like titan let's say that's the the titan mark uh you might be able to get two different perks of something and that could help you with your new build and i think this is really exciting i think this is really cool to see that the game is taking us into a new direction when it comes to the next step for destiny right so as a character and, and 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 the ability to use more than one power is really cool we'll see <laughs> let's see how long it takes before before they nerf it because there's no way they're going to allow you to be that powerful in pvp and in the raid um, i'm really curious to see if you can only use that type of abilities when you're inside the traveler which would make more sense um, and maybe you go to like these different, you know, you go back on earth and it's like, somehow we don't have that uh, ability to use both wheel, the dark and light, or maybe we do. Um, and maybe they just add more enemies that you have to kind of kill, uh, 
we got to see finally some new like a new enemy which is pretty much a bat with wings uh it looked really cool uh we'll we'll see it's kind of it's kind of frustrating that after almost like what 10 years 20 years of this 10 years that they're finally adding one new type of enemy um and then that's kind of where the frustrating part of destiny comes from right like they they've been such a good company when it comes to certain aspects of the of the game but then when it comes to like adding new enemy types or doing something new they just it, it seems like they come off to doing a lot of reskins um because as soon as we saw like this new really cool kind of bat creature they're like oh here are scions that have been taken over by you know the witness and its abilities and it's kind of like we've we've at this point 10 years of fighting the same enemy it's kind of like we need something different right like why couldn't they take the opportunity to design a new character that kind of resembles a scion but not a scion something different uh so that's just kind of one of those things where it's like all right well you know it's cool but overall it looks like um the the story and the way they're giving you the powers pretty much this whole trailer was kind of hooking you into to to seeing the new powers and i think it got a lot of the community really hyped it got me hyped um and i don't remember like again i'm just kind of trying to do this at the top of my head because i just saw it and i'm trying to remember like what else really stood out um and and i I can't really recall i'm really curious to see how pvp is going to handle this too because there's again it's just the the characters look overpowered thinking uh this is something we've always talked about like why destiny seems to not allow you to do more than one exotic uh you know there's other games that you can ha- pair two exotics and you're good uh but i understand that when it comes to pvp you can't have i mean as it is like there's so many broken uh guns and, and abilities that people just find ways to just enhance it and you're out there getting destroyed when you're playing pvp which makes it not fun but from a different perspective of now this game seems to be going more to pve and i think it's excellent um i i think destiny really needs a refresh uh when it comes to thinking about how they're going going to move this franchise forward um i really i would really love this ability to have almost like a like ability to like getting your ship and just kind of go explore and i think that's what made destiny one really exciting when i first played it um you kind of had to explore and try to figure out these hidden hidden uh objectives and items and exotics that made something feel so special as opposed to now like it's like everything is given to us like you go into your uh you know your inventory and you look to see like what item you haven't achieved and even though it doesn't tell you directly but you can watch a youtube and you're there i think there needs to be a sense of mystery now and i really hope that maybe that going into the traveler there's more hidden mysteries there's more to the to the environment of a just you go from point A to point B and the story is just like one after another beat that doesn't really push the story. Um, I, from what I understand, I think the way you the way you're going to beat the witness is going into the raid itself. And I think that's excellent. That's a good way to get the community into going into doing a raid. And and that's to me one of the best part of, of Destiny. Um, but I, I really hope that we get more to it, like getting random cool public events, not these, these like typical same ones, something like Diablo. I think Diablo has this really cool idea of like, you know, random people join up and you have to fight like this big, massive like character and you know, you're using all your abilities and you're trying to help each other. And I think that's what destiny is needing in actual public event, not just raids. Um, or, 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 you know, I don't know. We just, there needs to be more, uh, things to it. And not just repeat the same kind of like go from here go to there grind this for the next 20 hours and then you go and then you you know and it's like this whole idea of those seasons too it's like each week you do one part of the story and it's like why and then they're no longer doing uh you know uh what is it they're no longer doing what's the word here cinematic uh, of of something important like it's just you you're the camera and these two people are talking and it's like well i'm not part of this conversation what do i care and I think I mentioned this a long time ago, where if it's like one of my uh, uh, crew members, we're sitting there like doing emotes when it's at a very important part of the story. And it's like, we need to go back to having it be the camera telling t- telling us what we should be watching, as opposed to us being this part, like this fly on the wall. It's like, I don't care for this. Um, so I really hope that we get more uh, of that uh, kind of Destiny 2 feel back when it, or Destiny in general when it came uh, for uh, the final shape. Um, So far, it looks like it's turning out to be pretty good. I'm going to be very reserved, um, especially uh, learning from what Bungie does in typical. Like, they hype us up, and then we get the game. And it's not just Bungie. I think a lot of AAA games are doing that. They they craft these incredible trailers, and the game falls uh, pretty flat on its feet sometimes. But I hope that's not the case. Um, 
And then uh, today, I think it just it's about to go live, or maybe it went live already by the time you watch this video. We're getting that new free update to Destiny where it's like a final stance. I don't remember what it's called. Um, please forgive me. <laughs> I haven't really been into Destiny as much, but I've been slowly kind of catching up to see what we're getting. But it's kind of like, it reminds me very much of Gears of War where, you know, you're kind of doing wave after wave. Um, and as you're collecting these items or glimmer, whatever you want to call it, points, you're able to put defense uh, up around this thing that your battery that you're trying to protect you're going to get wave of enemies and you have to protect that and supposedly this is what the witness is saying sending us before we go into the final shape um but i i think you know let me know what you guys are thinking uh, again this is super fresh i just watched it and i was like i, I want to record this um the 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 design actually let me step back a little bit the design of the artwork looks incredible i think destiny does really well when it comes to the concept work and these characters and the artists are so awesome the new place of the witness inside the traveler i'm sorry inside the traveler what the witness is doing some stuff being like kind of corrupted the the, the art team is just killing it like i love seeing the artwork from this um uh, as a designer like i'm always trying to figure out like what is tangible from this why is this standing out um, and they're doing it great. Like it looks like the environment, the artwork, the, the special effects, the the audio I'm sure is going to be awesome. The music that they've been playing in Twitch as we were waiting to like watch the live stream was just incredibly composed. And I just really hope that all these elements come together and that story is able to just be the champion that we're, we're looking here for. Because it doesn't matter how incredible the design is. If the story narrative is bad, it doesn't matter how much love and care that went into this product because the story is going to fall flat and i really don't want that to happen it's been 10 years of, of my life and many of our lives of watching this and i really hope and concludes with an incredible story that we're all just like wow like this was all worth it i want to have chills and i and, and and i want to relive those moments of like man like this was like this was worth it so uh go in there look at all the artwork that's being put out i'm sure we're going to continue to get more um, artists coming out like look at the the art station and like their websites and they're they're just incredible artists so shout out to all of them um and like i said go watch the trailer and let me know what we're thinking if, are we excited are we not is the winner's gonna kick our ass is it maybe just gonna say hey what's up leave me alone guys